The amazing scent of Saigon street food whiffs through the air, but one scent stands out the most. Ban Om Le Yu. While making this delicious traditional Vietnamese treat, motorbikes zoom around on the streets. Meanwhile, a street vendor is working hard to make ban om la yu. This bamboo steamed treat has such an amazing aroma smell that flies through the air. Wait a minute, why doesn't mine have that wonderful flavor? The only thing different is the use of the stainless steel steamers. Inside the tasty treat is pandan, rice flour, cassava, rice paper, sugar, coconut shavings, salt, and sesame seeds. Yum! I would feel sad if Mangom Layu was not sustainable. To help it be sustainable, uh, I can encourage more people to eat and encourage my our children to keep the way how to keep the traditional way to make Vietnamese food and put more advertisement in the magazine. Making bun om la yu is a fun and simple process. First, the pandan flour is added to the steamer. While the flour is steaming, the rice paper is prepared. When the flour is ready, it is gently pulled from the steamer and spread on the rice paper. The yummy inside filling of coconut shavings, sugar, and sesame seeds fill the inside with explosive flavors. As part of the cultural and traditional aspect, one of the traditional ways to make Bang Ong La Yu is using bamboo steamers. More and more people are starting to use stainless steel steamers because it's cheaper and faster. But this is an issue because to continue to have Bang Ong La Yu in 10, 20 or even 100 years, preserving the traditional methods is important. Cheaper doesn't always mean better, and using bamboo steamers won't affect the environment because it's a renewable resource. Continuing to use the bamboo steamers would keep the tradition alive and sustainable for many years to come and people young and old can enjoy this treat on the busy streets of Vietnam.